Hi all, this is a short video about the new Power App support for SharePoint lists. You'll notice that I've got a SharePoint list here and there's a Power Apps option. And you can create an app or customize forms. And I'm going to show an app I created in, in a minute with that create an app. Okay, this has some fields in it that are rather complex controls. This colors is a multi-select choice, so you can choose more than one. This is a regular choice. This is a person or group, and this is a lookup. So this lookup looks into another list, and it's a supplier list, and it brings the zip code from that list over into the products list. Okay, so when I created this, all I had to do was click create an app, and Share, um, Power Apps created essentially this app pretty much out of the box I changed like the I put a few fields on here and put the blue here and that kind of thing but um, when you look at it in the design plat design um, app here it creates these three screens for you the browse screen the detail screen and the edit screen out of the box so all I changed basically was to add some other fields here because it only put three on here so it's a very minor um, things for cosmetics okay so this is what it looks like and um, you're pr presented with the gallery which is just a list of the products then you click on that little icon and it just brings you over to a, the, another forum just like InfoPath used to do and then this brings you into the edit form and notice that in this multi-select that I can choose more than one option and here's a regular drop down um, choice field which gives me the options in a drop down and then this is uh, actually extremely impressive that I can just type in here and I am getting a people picker notice I get two people's names here that's both starting with Jonathan so I can choose one and this is the lookup so I can change that to J gel and it will change the zip as soon as I save click to save and see how that zip just switched like that really quickly and then I've got a little button here that goes over to my SharePoint list if I want to check and make sure that my changes were made and the other thing um, is that from here this little plus um, gives you a new form and also you can search so if I search like that it filters on my search and here's my new form okay so the most powerful thing here though that is really impressive is that this as you may have noticed is a format for a cell phone and I've got my cell phone hooked up with USB cable here and let me get my friends thing out of there and I think you can see that I it's showing you what I'm doing on my phone right now so I'm going to change this and note it gives me the same thing that I got in the browser and it saves just like it did on the browser so that's you're making one app and it's doing the mobile app at the same time as it's creating an app that you can run in the browser so that's what I wanted to say thanks for watching